Currently, there are more than 59,000 free WordPress plugins available, and finding new and good plugins can be a hassle. Therefore, lately I have been using this URL here to browse new plugins and find something that are worth mentioning or even using. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you five awesome WooCommerce plugins you may find useful. But before I'm gonna show you those, here's a short message from the sponsor of this video. Today's video is brought to you by Analytics WP, the privacy focused, ad blocker resistant, and shockingly accurate analytics solution for WordPress. With Analytics WP, in depth reporting and user journey tracking, you'll gain detailed insight into exactly where your visitors are going and what they are doing all the way from their first click to their first WooCommerce purchase. Ready for more clarity? Try Analytics WP today. Okay, as promised, let's take a look at the plugins. And first plugin I would like to show you is called Shareable Cart for WooCommerce, this one here. So, what will it do for you? After activating the plugin, let's go to the cart page. And there you go, there is a Share Your Cart button here. If you click on it, you can copy the URL or share it directly to Facebook, Twitter, email, or WhatsApp. Now let's open up my site in a private window. I'm gonna paste the URL and there you go. Shared cart loaded successfully. Now there are a couple of settings for this plugin. So go to the WooCommerce settings and there's a shareable cart menu here. You can set the cart expiry days, button position. Currently it is displayed before cart totals I can set it to after card totals. Let's see where it appears. It's down below here. Next is before cart. That is here. And last one is after the cart. You can also change a button text. So let's save it, refresh it. And now it's here. I like the before card totals position the most. So I'm going to leave it here. Small but nifty plugin works like a charm. Now let's move to the next plugin and this one is called WooCommerce Cart PDF. What will it do for you is when I go to my cart page, there is a button download cart as PDF. When I click on it, it opens up like a quote. If I go to the checkout page and scroll down, you'll see the same button is here. I can open it up and done. Now, where can you find the settings for it is go to the WooCommerce settings, integration, cart PDF. And now you can change the button label, add your own logo URL. How to do that? Go to the media library, add your logo, copy URL and paste it here. You can set the logo width, logo alignment. Next, you can choose whether to open the PDF in new tab instead of downloading. You can send a copy of PDF to admin via email. You can show download cart as PDF on checkout page. So when I disable this one here and refresh the checkout page, this button is not displayed here, but I like it to be displayed on the checkout page also. If you would like to capture customer information on checkout, then select this box here. If you would like to display unique generated PDF number, then check this one. And last one is require customer to populate their information before downloading PDF. If you would like to do that, then select this option and nothing else to it here. Another small but nifty plugin, which works like a charm. Okay, two down, three to go. Next plugin is called Brick Panel WooCommerce Dashboard Plugin, Custom Admin Panel Reports and Analytics. I have installed it on one of my sites. So as you see, this is the new layout for you to compare. This is your default WooCommerce homepage, but this is the Brick Panel related. There are some widgets here, which are only available for pro version. So if you don't want to show them, then just disable them here. For example, this live visitors, I don't need it. So let's arrange those, add to cart buttons. I'm gonna also disable. If I'm gonna go to the orders page, it looks like this. If I would like to search orders, then everywhere on my admin, even if I go to the pages, there is a search orders pop up here. You can also use a short code command K if you're on Mac. And as you see, it loads really fast. 
when I open up the order itself, it looks like this. If you would like to see the customers, this is it here. Now, if you go to the settings, then this is the WooCommerce settings page. As a comparison, by default, this is how WooCommerce settings page looks like. This is the different one. Let's open up the shipping and you'll see the shipping zones, shipping settings and so on and so forth. All other menus are shown down below here. Under the more menu, you'll see all other items here. So if you're using WooCommerce and you need to use a custom WooCommerce dashboard, then this is the way to go. Okay, next plugin I would like to show you is called Store Growth WooCommerce Sales Booster Flycart, direct checkout, live sales, notification, upsell, countdown, timer, and more. Once again, I'm going to go to my site. I have store growth installed, so I'm going to open it up. And now you can activate all the modules here or only those modules you need. For example, if you don't need Flycart or free shipping rules, then you can disable it. Otherwise, you can enable. So, for example... I have enabled countdown timer. How does it work? I'm going to open up my site. Let's open up this product and you'll see it's here. In order to make it work, open up your product page. There is a countdown timer, set the product discount, discount dates. And when you activated it, it will be displayed here. I have also activated stock bar. The stock bar is displayed down below here. Available items, total sold. I have activated fly cart. How does it work is when I add it to the cart, it will be added here. You can open it up, change the quantities, keep shopping. Or if you go to the checkout, then the checkout page will be loaded on this sidebar here. Now I'm not going to go through all the settings it has because I have made a separate video about this plugin. In this other video, I have reviewed the pro version of this plugin. I'm going to put the link to the video in the video description. Although, as you see, I'm using the free version. It has a bunch of cool options. Some options are available only for pro version. Nevertheless, it's an awesome plugin. Give it a go. Well, almost there. That is, we have only one extension to review and this is called wow add-ons product add-ons for woocommerce and product options with custom fields now after installing the plugin you'll see the wow add-ons menu on the left if you go to the dashboard you'll see all sorts of information here if you go to the options list then you can create add-ons let's give it the title for example demo add-on now you can assign whether to display it for all products, specific products or specific category. Let's choose this one here and let's display it for this product category. Next, you can add product add-ons. Click on the plus button here and currently it has 25 different blocks you can add. For example, radio. You can add your own options. If you need to add images, then it is available for pro version. As with the previous plugin, I have also reviewed the pro version. I'm going to put the link to this video also in the video description. So, add your own options. Set the prices. For example, 12, 33, 20 and so on. Set the radio settings. If you need to add conditional logic, then you can do it here. Add another one. For example, switch. Just drag and drop it here. Add your option name. For example, yes. Add price. 80 you can hide the title checked by default and so on and in a similar way you can add any other add-on here for example you can even display specific products here let's add this one here and this one let's uh, select the variation also variation for this one you can change between the styles you can customize global styles heading fields contents, field component styles, and so on and so forth. So let's, let's publish it, save it. Now I'm going to go to the shop page, open up lightning category, open up this product, and you'll see these are the product add-ons. I can choose them here, and all the totals are displayed here. When I add it to the cart, view the cart, you'll see 
these are the extra options when I go to the checkout page you'll see extra options are also displayed here so once again awesome plugin and even the free version is very powerful if you need to add product add-ons there you go five new and free WooCommerce add-ons you may find useful now before you go as I mentioned I have made a separate video about pro versions of wow add-ons plugin and store growth plugin those two videos are on the screen right now be sure to take a look at those next in the meantime take care